Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Herzlich willkommen zu dieser neuen Episode A Guide to the Luxembourgish Verb Gohen. So whether you need to state where you are going on holiday or ask a friend if they can meet you tomorrow at 6 p.m., for example, or simply asking someone, how is it going? So chances are you will want to use the Luxembourgish verb Gohen. The verb goen is one of the most used verbs in Luxembourgish, and so it is important to know first how to conjugate it correctly, as it is completely irregular, and also know when and how to use it correctly when speaking. Now, this complete guide will help you to master not only the conjugation of this verb in the different tenses, but also its usage so that you can handle an everyday life conversation with ease and confidence. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Dann lass. So, let's start with the conjugation and the usage. The verb goen has an irregular conjugation, which means that in certain forms the verb changes its vowels. So, let's go through the conjugation in the present tense. I go is ösch gin. You go, du gehst. He or she goes, jen hat geht. We go, mir gehen. You go in the plural form, dir git. And they go, sie gehen. Let's just repeat. Mir wiederholen. Hallo. So, ösch gehen. Du gehst. Hien hat geht. Mir gehen. Dir git. Sie Gin. Now, you've probably already noticed that in Luxembourgish, there is no present progressive tense like in the English language. In English, the purpose of the present progressive tense is to indicate that you have certain plans for the future, as in, I'm going to London tomorrow. In Luxembourgish, however, whether you have concrete plans or not, there is only I go, so the present tense, ösch gin, and not I'm going or I am going to go. Okay. So the only way to figure out whether a plan is immediate or not is to look at the actual meaning of the sentence. So usually hinted at by temporal, temporal adverbs such as muer, uh, next woche, next year, for example. Okay. So Beispiele, examples. If you want to say I am going to London today, you will say in Luxembourgish, Ösch gehen haut ob London. So you see, we stay in the present tense, but when we add haut, it's a temporal adverb. So I, I know that it is today. Okay, dann Ösch gehen haut ob London. Or if you want to say, we are going to the restaurant this evening is, mir gehen den Abend an der Restaurant. Easy. And how would you say, in August, we are going on holiday? Yes, this is, am August gehen wir an Vakanz. Good. So now you have understood this. We stay in the present tense and we add an adverb to be more precise in time. Yeah. Let's have a look at how to make plans or schedule an appointment. 
you probably know how to answer the question, wie geht it? Yes, don't wie geht it? You would answer maybe, it geht, if you are doing fine. It geht, merci. So, it geht means it is going. However, we use it geht also to ask for someone's availability, for example, to meet for a drink, to schedule an appointment. Beispiel. Geht it, wenn wir eins mehr um fünf Uhr treffen? So this means, is it possible uh, we are meeting tomorrow at five o'clock? Don't get it. Get it here, meaning if you are available, if it's fine for you. Don't get it, wenn wir eins mehr um fünf Uhr treffen. Or for example, es schon eine Freitag um sechs Uhr Zeit für Tennis zu spielen. Geht das für dich? So is this possible for you? Is this fine with you? Doch es schon eine Freitag um sechs Uhr Zeit für Tennis zu spielen. Geht das für dich? Ja? Good. Now let's move over to the conjugation of the verb gehen in the present perfect tense. In spoken Luxembourgish, we never use goen in the past tense, so the imperfect tense. Always the present perfect. When conjugating the Luxembourgish verb goen in the present perfect tense, the verb sin is used at, as a helping verb. Now, depending on the meaning and context of the sentence, the present perfect tense of the verb goen can either mean I went or I have gone. So remember, we don't make the difference in spoken Luxembourgish between I went and I have gone. We always use the present perfect. Now, do you know the past participle of gone? Yes, this is gan or gangen. So to say I went or I have gone, you would say ich sin, gang. Or, ich sin, mm, 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 gangen. Why do I say, mm, 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 mm? well, because the past participle always comes at the very end of the sentence. Let's illustrate this with examples, doch Beispiele. For example, to say, I wasn't feeling well, so I went home a little earlier, is, mir war es schlecht, dafür sin ich frei heim gang. Okay, don't you see the gang is at the end of the sentence. Mir war es schlecht, dafür sin ich frei heim gang. Or to say, why have you guys gone without me? For example, at the restaurant. This is, für was seid ihr ohne mich an der Restaurant gang? Or, für was seid ihr ohne mich an der Restaurant gangen? Yeah, both are correct. How would you say, where have you gone yesterday evening? This is, wo sind dir gestorben gang? Wo sind dir gestorben gangen? And a last example, a last Beispiel. How would you say, everything went fine? For example, the Spruchentest. Let's say, the Spruchentest went fine. This is, the Spruchentest is ganz gut gang. This is something we use commonly when an exam went really well. The Spruchentest is ganz gut gang. Great. Now let's look at the conjugation of the verb goen for commands, for an order. Here we use then the imperative tense. So depending on the situation, commands can be an important part of the language. While they are not commonly used, I think they could still give you an interesting insight into the conjugation of the verb goen. There are only three command forms in the imperative tense, and they are not even that hard to keep in mind, so let me show you. You go, the informal form, is gay. Gay. But be careful, this can, be, can sound very rude. And in order to take some of the edge off, you can add the word vanishglift, which means please don't vanishglift, to make it a little more polite. So you would say gay vanishglift. And don't just say gay. Hmm? Just say gay vanishglift. So please go. For example, when I am working and uh, my 
daughter pops in my office and she just uh, is asking me something. I just say, Gay van Schlieft, ich muss nach schaffen, for example. Yeah? And then the plural form to say go, so for several persons, you would say git. Git, as in dear git. And you can also use this for the formal form. If you want to say to someone, please go, you would say git van Schlieft. Mm -hmm. Or when you explain directions to someone, uh, go uh, here and there, you would say, git, uh, if it plats, and then hold the eich tros riets, for example. And the third command form is gimma. <laughs> Now listen carefully, gimma. Gimma means let's go. Okay? And normally it would be gin mir. Okay, but gin here we drop the final n because of our n rule, and in spoken Luxembourgish we don't stress here mir, but we would use ma instead of mir, but it means the same ma. So let's go gimma, gimma. While gimma is a commonly used term, I'd recommend using both other forms like gay and git um, carefully, since they can easily be interpreted as root. Finally, we tend to use the following verbs together with goen, for example, spazieren, laufen, akafen, schlofen. So we won't use this in spoken language without goen. So you, with spazieren, you'd say, ich gin lo spazieren, oder ich gin samstes moyes laufen, ich gin emolt woch akafen. Oh, ich sie mit ich gehen schlafen. So we use these four verbs always with the verb going. It sounds more naturally. And we reach the end of this episode. And here is your takeaway. So two useful expressions. Echt expression. To say to have a good time, you would say in Luxembourgish, sich et gut Lose goen. So should good lose goen. For example, if you want to say we had a good time on holidays, you would say, Mir hun eis et gut goe gelos. Mir hun eis et gut goe gelos. We had a nice time. I forget to add an der Vakanz. Doch mir hun eis et an der Vakanz gut goe gelos. And uh, the sweet expression to say it will be fine is that geht schon, that geht schon, or you can use um, that wird schon gut gehen, that wird schon gut gehen. But the first one is the easiest one, that geht schon, it will be fine. For example, don't worry, it will be fine is mach dir kein Sorgen, that geht schon. Mir wiederholen, mach dir kein Sorgen, so don't, don't worry. That geht schon, it will be fine. Good. Now, this was maybe a lot to process, but just listen again and again to this uh, podcast so that you master the conjugation of the verb goen, which is really, as you can see, very important. We use it uh, all the time. Yeah. And for sure, you will need to master the conjugation of this verb if your intention is to sit the Spruchen test. So it is very important that when you answer to the examiner's question that you conjugate your verb going correctly. And if you get an answer in the past, then you will have to put your past participle gang or gangen at the end of the sentence. Now, is your intention to sit the Spruchen test in the upcoming future? Then join one of our Spruchen test practices classes where we help you to gain confidence in speaking and in answering the questions the examiner might ask you about any given topic. You will find the link in the show notes below. Merci für die Nullauströn am Öschsuhen. Bis nächste Woche. Adieu.